Welcome back. You know, making the decision to place a loved one in hospice care can be a difficult one. It helps to know just what exactly defines hospice care, who it is for, what it does, and when is the right time to make that call. Now, well, those questions and more are going to be addressed by our next guest. Welcome to the mix, Dr. Patrick Fitzgibbon. Hello, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Let's start with just the, the basic. What does it mean when you choose hospice care? Yeah. Uh, well, one thing it doesn't mean is defeat. Um, uh, and what, and uh, one thing it does mean is is choosing to access a group of guides to help you through through an end of life journey. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if that's uh, that's the analogy I would use, that that uh, when we have a terminal uh, illness, um, that's a journey people have been taking for thousands of years. There's nothing new under the sun. And why make that journey alone? Sure. Why not have a group of people who maybe they haven't walked your specific path, but they know the road and are there to help you out? You know, it's, we, as you mentioned, we all share this. This is something that it's part of the human condition. We are all going to end up there at the end. Is that who hospice care is for, for terminally ill people or who? comes into hospice care. So when, uh, when a person has a terminal illness such that two physicians would agree that they have a six month life expectancy or less, then that person's eligible for hospice. Mm -hmm. But hospice isn't just for the patient, hospice is for their family, their loved ones, and their friends as well. Uh, even their coworkers, um, anybody who, who is, is uh, deep into their life, mm -hmm. we're here to support them. Absolutely. Very, very important point you just made, that it's not just for the patient, but for the family, the, uh, those surrounding that patient. How, how does hospice care enhance the quality of life for someone? So if we go back to the analogy of this being a journey, mm -hmm. uh, um, it's, uh, and we, we talked a little bit about guides, having people who, who can help you um, through different parts of the journey. Um, carrying on with the analogy, uh, you know, you need folks to help you cross the river, you need folks to help you get you over the mountain. So when you're involved in hospice, you have this whole team there to support you. And that team includes uh, nurses, aides, physicians, people who are experts in bereavement and grief, uh, a pharmacist, a dedicated pharmacist, okay. awesome. um, administrators, uh, folks who, who um, like social workers, who understand the lay of the land from a regulatory standpoint. Um, the, the list goes on and on. You have this whole team who, who are there to support you. You mentioned the word guides <clears throat> a couple of times, uh, and we've heard now what happens when someone is in hospice care. Are there guides available for folks who are trying to bring that topic up. A lot of times you may bring this up with, uh, say, an elderly parent, and they say, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how do you know when someone is ready for it? So a moment ago I mentioned that you have to have a terminal sure. diagnosis, right? right? Um, um, approaching that topic with someone, uh, an, another analogy I would use would be it's like labor and delivery. And um, would I tell you, well, congratulations, you're pregnant, you're gonna have a baby in nine, nine months, and mm -hmm. then just walk away and let you deal with it on your own. This is kind of similar. So when we get this diagnosis, we know we're gonna travel a path. And, and um, why would we do that without help and without support uh, from, from a whole group of people? And that group of people really, Faith Hospice, that's your team. That's uh, to, to help people out. Let's get people the information so they can learn more about Faith Hospice Care. You've just heard who it's for, what it does, and really when to make that call. If you have any further questions for Dr. Fitzgibbon or anyone else on the staff, faithhospicecare.org, or you can pick up the phone this morning. If you're in that chapter of life, 616-235-5113. Dr. Fitzgibbon, thank you so much for the time. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.